A familiar ritual for MEPs, ministers of the current EU presidency, now it's Italy, pitching their pitch for the next six months. Giuliano Paletti, Employment and Social Conditions, Angelino Alfano, Immigration and Crime, Andrea Orlando, Justice, and Maurizio Lupi, Planes, Trains and Things That Move. Mr. Poletti was absorbed by what absorbs every European politician, not to mention millions of under 25s, unemployment. La prima è l'occupazione giovanile, la dimensione sociale dell'Unione Economica e Monetaria Europea. In terzo luogo, la lotta alla povertà e alla esclusione sociale, l'economia sociale e, in quinto luogo, alla crescita verde. MEPs across the spectrum warmed to his intentions. Betonen, dass die Jugendarbeitslosigkeit berechtigt an die Spitze gestellt wird und dieses natürlich äh, korreliert mit äh, zwei Punkten, die auch genannt sind unter den fünf Prioritäten: äh, soziale Marktwirtschaft, grünes Wachstum. Für Italy, immigration has been and will continue to be a big priority. Witness last year's drowning of more than 350 boat refugees off Lampedusa and continuing deaths at sea now. What do you intend to do to establish legal and safe routes for these people fleeing from wars and persecution? Il sistema europeo comune di asilo diventa un perno fondamentale. Ecco perché il rafforzamento dell'Ufficio Europeo di Sostegno per l'Asilo diventa l'elemento strumentale per questi obiettivi. His colleague, Minister for Justice Andrea Orlando, addressed priorities in data protection and data storage, a predominant issue in the coming months. Next, planes, trains and boats. Transport, basically. Italy's Transport Minister Maurizio Lupi outlined a packed agenda to advance initiatives to improve air transport and Europe's hopelessly fractured rail network. So, plenty of work for this presidency at a crucial time at the start of a new parliamentary term. The Italians will be able to get on with it without too much scrutiny right now. MEPs leave this week for the summer and won't be back till September.